Hey everybody, it's Paul here. Got another uh, radio for you. It's actually a screen radio made by Kenwood. It's the DDX372BT. It's a doubled in screen. Uh, the actual screen size is uh, 6.1 inch uh, touch screen uh, DVD with Bluetooth. Also, you know, you got Pandora and stuff like that, but we'll get, get all that in here in a few minutes. Uh, this this usually runs around like 319 and 349, depending like, as, as always, depending on where you get it from. Always buy it from an authorized dealer. Um, uh, has a uh, one year warranty, and I guess without any any uh, any more, let's open up the big old box and see what all kinds of goodies we have in here. All right, let's see. Open the box. First thing I see is a parking brake extension wire. I just have to know what that is. Uh, we got a trim ring with some styrofoam in between. I guess to keep it from, from cracking up. I guess. Here is the wiring harness. Uh, here's the microphone for the Bluetooth. Here is uh, the manual with the warranty card. You got the CD keys. And looks like um, some mounting screws. You know, for most kits nowadays, they require the screws. So you come, someone comes with the radio. All right, that's all for the top lid. I'm going to open up and see here. All right, there's nothing else in the box, so let's put this off to the side. Uh, see, we got some uh, styrofoam with a piece of cardboard in the middle. Kind of taped together there, it's pretty cool. Set that off to the side. Make my little pile over here. All right, next we got the plastic bag. Let's see if I can... Whew! Scared me. All right, here's the plastic bag. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got trim ring. Let's see if I can, oh, no, the, the face is covered with a sticky cover here. And the last one I tried to take off a couple days ago, the sticky cover didn't, didn't survive, so I may end up having to break it. It was, well, it's just sticky plastic. Anyway, I'm trying to pull it off. The side is well, not too bad. All right, there's the the sticky cover. That just keeps the front from being scratched up while you're while it's being transported around. And this is the cage. Most most cars nowadays don't require a cage, but in case you have like a custom con uh, uh, installation or a hole or whatever, then then that's where a, a cage would come in handy. I'm gonna put this over here. All right, that's uh, that's everything out of the box. Let's go ahead and get it mounted up, and we'll see what the the back of it looks like. And then we'll turn around, power it up, and we'll see what the front looks like. All right, we got all turned around here, and what it is as usual, we'll start from this side and work our way to the right, and see what all the parts and pieces and everything are. Uh, over here, this is the port for the Series XM module, which is an optional module you have to purchase, and then you have to subscribe to their service to get uh, commercial free music. Uh, this right here is your power plug plug-in with the fuse. Um, right here is your microphone plug-in, the one on the left right here. This is your microphone input for the Bluetooth mic. Uh, this right here is an iPod slash AVN input. You have to purchase a special cable for that from Kimwood to make that work. Uh, directly underneath it, you got this purple wire with a white stripe. This is your reverse wire. What you do is you connect this wire to the reverse wire on your vehicle, so when you put it in reverse... It'll signal, send a signal down this wire and interrupt whatever you're looking at. And in conjunction with a optional rear view camera, you can see what you're backing into. This light green wire is the parking brake switch. What you do is you hook this to the parking brake. So when you stop, push the parking brake in, this will ground this wire. And so that way you can watch video while you're sitting around. Um, let's see right here. This is your three foot USB, this little cover. So you can plug like your iPhone, Android, uh, or USB thumb drives into it. Right here we have video output. So you can, if you have video playing, you can 
send a video output to other screens. This right here is your reverse camera input, so you can get the, the, the signal in um, from your reverse camera when, you, when this is turned on. That way you can see, see what you're backing into. You got your rear, front, and subwoofer outputs. Um, so it's like 2.5 volts. That way you can have like a four channel amp, base amp, five channel amp, two high, uh, two, two highs amps and a base amp or whatever. Plenty of configuration for, for your highs and base on, on amplifiers. And this is your antenna input. So as always, you may need an antenna adapter in order to catch FM stations from there. All right, that's everything on the back of the radio. Let's get it turned around. All right, now we're getting it turned we'll on here. There. Initial setup demonstration, we're going to turn it off. Um, English, iPod, reverse camera input. Um, then we'll hit finish from there. Uh, this is the main menu screen. Uh, but before I start clicking on stuff, I'll just kind of tell you all about the buttons. Um, let's see. Uh, here's your... Uh, DVD CD eject button. This is your CD DVD slot right here. Here, I don't know why my camera does that. Um, of course, touchscreen. This is the, the menu button. Click on it, and it takes you to, I guess, here. Uh, AV input. Let's just put it on tuner. Um, uh, telephone. And when when your camera, I mean camera. When your phone's Bluetooth is hooked up and everything, you can use this to go straight to the telephone section so you can make outgoing and coming calls, your phone book and all that. It's neat stuff. Let's see. Uh, right here, this is your volume button. And if you push it in, you got attenuation, which is your uh, mute button. And I think if I hold it in, it takes you to the the audio screen. All right, so let's go back to the main menu, which is the top page. Um, but yeah, iPod tuner, Bluetooth for phone, like phone calls, all source, disc, Bluetooth, uh, audio, Pandora, and setup. If I click on iPod, of course, I don't have an iPod, so but it'll, it'll show like you know, artist titles start playing. Maybe that's some Albert Art right there. Uh, tuner, click on it. At your preset stations one through six. Uh, if I had an antenna in here, it'll probably you know plug in. It'll tell me what station I'm on and all kinds of stuff. I guess I need to get an antenna. Uh, AM, FM, seek. You know, you like there, this is your stations right here. Uh, seek. Uh, find anything. And I think these are like a quick button here. Let's see, iPod. Click it. Yeah. Uh, telephone, I think you can take that same screen again, phone book, you know, if you want to make a phone call, dial the phone number in. Uh, all source, these are all the sources that you have. If it's lit up, you can do something with it. Um, of course on Sirius XM, you have to purchase that optional module for this to continue working. Um, pretty much the same thing, you know, iPod, USB, if you have a USB in there, Pandora. Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth phone, uh, audio video input, or just standby. This is the bin arrows, your escape button there. This Bluetooth, that's all the same there. So let's find the setup button. You got audio, you get, this is your fader and balance. You go into here, you can click wherever on the screen, it'll just automatically adjust the fader and balance to wherever you click at. Make, make that the center of the vehicle. Or you just click center and I'll make the center for you. Or you can press these buttons and dial it in. Uh, let's see, go back out of that. Then we go down to equal, drive EQ. Um, that's your subwoofer level here. Natural, rock, pops. These are preset equalizers. Jazz, user. Then if you go to user, you can actually dial in. But you want, and you can also just click on the screen and automatically um, adjust it for you. What, 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 and, or you can just do it manually over here if you wanted. Um, back out of here. Loudness off and on just makes it a little bit louder. X over, which is crossover, it, it, you can really dial in 
however you want it to, to sound. Volume offset it's automatic on zero, which is full blast, and there's no down. Oh, here we go. Uh, subwoofer, you actually turn the subwoofer off or on, like if you're in a school zone or somewhere, or you just don't want to listen to the subwoofer, you just turn it off. Bass boost, one, two, three, yep. Bass boost three as far as it goes. Speaker select, you can tell the kind of speaker it is. And that's it. All right, if we go to display, uh, dimmer, auto, on, off, again, it helps with the dimming. Uh, user customization, you can actually change whatever background you want. Um, or there's no image, or you can capture an image from like a USB or something. Uh, panel color, uh, you can either, which is, um, these buttons here, so green, these are green, orange, they're orange, or just cycle through with scan. Uh, input, AVN or iPod, uh, reverse camera input, off, off or on, so if you're not using it, you just turn it off, if you do have a camera, you leave it on. And system, what language you want, if you want to clock or not, and then you, if you want to sync with it. Uh, if you want the beeps to beep while you're touching stuff, it'll beep. Um, set up memory. Uh, Bluetooth setup, if you go into here, you can go to pair device list, pin code, device name, device address, audio connect, Bluetooth. When you, when you first hook up your Bluetooth from your phone, by default, just the front speaker is going to play, so you have to click on all. So if you have subwoofers on the on the uh, subwoofer output or the rear, then it'll play. If not, if you just leave it on front, just the front speaker, speaker is going to play. And all the pairings on, just leave all that pretty much like it is. And let's see, what oh, like the settings. And actually, I think that's it. System. Uh, long press, um, you know, you can select whatever keys you want, and you hold it down, and it'll kind of like uh, program it to a certain feature. Here's actually the cylinder with the radio in there. Uh, touch panel, I'll just go in here, and actually it tells you where to click on, so it'll adjust the, the screen for you. And system information, it kind of tells you the the application version, DVD version, Bluetooth, and system version. And a lot of times you go to the the Kenwood website and you may have an update for that firmware. So check back every couple months and see if they may have fixed something to make it might work a little faster or something. All right. Uh, does DVD, double digital, uh, Series XM ready, which means to purchase extra modules. Got built in Bluetooth, 50 watt the channel, front and rear symbol for pre outs. And uh, T DVD and CD and radio. That's pretty much it. <sighs> All right, that was the Kenwood DDX 372BT. Uh, one year warranty. Average price between 319 and 349. Uh, has all your basic features. If you, if you don't don't really need the, the full size screen, then a 6.1 inch uh, will be plenty. It's got um, Bluetooth, Pandora. You can add satellite radio to it. Uh, steering wheel control inputs. Um, you can also add a backup cameras to it, DG, the DVD digital Dolby, uh, and I do have an update on the, the set of 2.5 volt RCAs is actually 4 volts. So it has high point, high volt uh, output on the RC, RCAs at 4 volts, which is really nice. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, Hit the like button down down there, thumbs up, hit the comment, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and please subscribe.